it's Presley at actoutgames.com here and today is Science Sunday with Professor P. So I'm going to be teaching you how to do make a cloud in a bottle. So this is a super cool experiment. So first I'm going to show you how to do it and then I'm going to tell you a little bit about what's going on here. So what you're going to need is a bicycle pump, a valve stem, you can find this at pretty much any auto parts store and they're, they're not expensive at all, some clear plastic bottles and optional some rubbing alcohol. It's optional but it definitely makes you see it a lot better. Okay, so I'm going to have my dad help me out because you need someone with stronger hands than me to do it. It's kind of hard to do with like my hands. I've done it a couple times, but yep. it's pretty hard. So first, you're going to put a little bit of the rubbing alcohol, only a tiny, tiny bit, and uh, then you're going to turn it on its side and kind of shake it around a little bit. So the bottle is kind of coated in the uh, rubbing alcohol. Then you pour the rest back in there and make sure there's one tiny bit. Yep. And you put the bicycle pump with the valve stem on it. And you're going to put that there, uh, right in the middle where the cap would be. And then you're going to pump it about 20 times. And there's your cloud in a bottle. I like this. There's like little wisps of the cloud that come out. That's really cool. You can squeeze it. You can squeeze it in these wisps. Smoke rings. <laughs> cool. Um, yeah. Okay. So what's next? So next we have a couple other techniques to do this demonstration. Yeah. So I'll sh we can show you a different technique. Yes. A different right? technique. And then we'll show on a bigger bottle. Yes. Where it kind of shows up a little bit better. All so right. So this one. Yeah. You do the same thing with alcohol. You just put some tiny bit in. Shake around. Um, we've been practicing with this bottle, so that's why it looks like that. If <laughs> we didn't get a um, like a defected bottle for that, right? Thing. Okay. So then you're going to kind of squeeze that flat, and then squeeze the bottom flat, and turn it around, so all the air kind of goes up, is like out of it. Make sure there's no air in the bottom. So all the air is compacted in here, and it's super hard. If you if you know it right, it's, you squeeze it, and it's harder to to do than like let me grab this other bottle here. This bottle I can squeeze pretty easily. Oh, and there's cloud coming out of it. Mm -hmm. um, and this bottle is really, really hard to squeeze. Yep. So then you just have to open it really quickly. Um, so you can explain how you open it. I guess I yeah, so I just I spin the top with my thumb. It's almost kind of like snapping, right? I just spin the top. Mm -hmm. Whoop! <laughs> and the top goes flying off, and there's another cloud in a bottle. And you get cloud in that way. So you don't even need the bicycle pump if you can do it that way. Mm -hmm. it's right? And then the bottom ends up all squished. Cool. All right, let's do the big bottle once and show show the effect one more time. Yeah. You can see it better than this one. Yeah. What, what did this big bottle come So, same thing. It's a big uh, two-liter Coke bottle. Mm -hmm. So. And this time you can use more alcohol in that because mm -hmm. it's bigger and you need to cover it easier. Little Here's the top of the other bottle. Ever. Thank you. This one takes more air, and so you definitely have to hold the pump on. It's really hard. I've managed to do this bottle once. I managed to do the other bottle a couple times. It's super hard. So I definitely recommend someone with stronger hands being able to do this. You ready? Uh huh. Pop! And they get a wisp of smoke. Now watch this. This is my favorite oh, part. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you just keep pumping air into it and it goes away. And if you keep doing that, it'll come back. Yeah. <laughs> Again, no more fun. Hey, bad cow, you bottle. Let go. I wonder uh, uh, how long the cloud will stay in the bottle if we put the top on it. Like how long it takes for the alcohol. Okay, so you want to talk a little bit about what's happening, why this works? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. When you put the alcohol in it and you kind of coat the bottle, the alcohol is evaporating and you can use water for this. It just takes more time and Colorado is really dry so there's not much water vapor in the air and stuff. Mm -hmm. so, but it's the same reason yeah. we used alcohol for the combustion experiment, mm -hmm. right? Because it evaporates in room temperature pretty quickly. Yeah. And you can get a nice cloud of it basically. Mm -hmm. Yep. So once it evaporates, it becomes a mixture of air and and uh and evaporated alcohol. Yep. So it becomes this mixture of air, evaporated alcohol, and then when you put the bicycle pump on it or you twist the bottom, it starts going under more pressure and it starts heating up. Why does it heat up? 
it heats up um, because, well, something under pressure starts heating up. Yeah, when you comp yeah. compress a liquid, it gets warmer. It gets yep. warmer. Mm -hmm. So it start, so that will speed up the evaporation process a little bit. Mm -hmm. So it heats up, but as soon as you yank the bicycle pump, the bicycle pump off or you twist the cap, it the it lowers pressure and when it and then the air and stuff expand, it expands. Mm -hmm. And when it expands it gets colder. What? Um it gets colder because when a liquid expands it gets colder. It's what it does. It's That's what right. it does. That's right. There's not a specific reason why That's it's what doing it, yeah, that. Right? Um so it's so it gets colder and it's and it becomes little water droplets. Mm -hmm. There's a word for that that I kind of that yeah, it condenses. Word. Condenses. It condenses yeah. into little water droplets. They're alcohol droplets, really. And but, alcohol yeah. droplets, yeah. and they stick together using cohesion, and that's what makes the cloud. And then when you use the bicycle pump and you pump it up again, you're basically doing the same thing that I explained during the beginning. You're putting it under more pressure, and it heats up, and then it you can't see it again because it is evaporating, and you just do that over and over and over. Yeah, that's right. So yeah, it's just kind of, and it's exactly the same way that clouds actually form, right? Yes. Because down Except at, they like, don't form about alcohol. They form with water. They would. They, they could. would. They yeah. could. So like at ground level, water. water evaporates. It yes. gets warm and it evaporates and it goes up and up and up and up. And as it gets higher, the pressure gets lower and the temperatures get lower. Yes. And so it gets cold and it condenses again and forms little droplets. Mm -hmm. And then those form what the clouds are and they all stick together. And when they get heavy enough, they fall in a drain. Yep. Like that's exactly what's happening. I mean, you're actually doing the exact same thing that happens when, yes. uh, when a cloud forms. So it is an actual cloud in a moment. It is a real cloud, yeah. And so one of the things that, uh, one of the reasons I thought this was a cool experiment for us to do too was that like there's really only a few core like physics concepts that you have to have a pretty good grasp on. And if you know those, you can explain a lot of things that go on in the world, right? And sometimes things have a special name, like they'll call a certain like property of inertia. They'll give it its own name and you call it by that, but it's still really just inertia, right? So if you understand inertia mm -hmm. and friction really well, mm -hmm. you can explain a lot of what happens in mm -hmm. physics, right? And with fluids, if you think about like Bernoulli, mm -hmm. you know, a moving fluid, a faster moving fluid is lower yeah. pressure and a slower moving is higher pressure mm -hmm. and fluids move from high pressure to low pressure. And then this is as something expands, it gets cooler. Yeah. Is it condenses, it gets warmer. Mm -hmm. And you can, the really cool thing about that is you can, if you do one thing to it, mm -hmm. it will do the other. Yes. So if you take a liquid like this and you compress it, it's going to get hotter. Yes. Right? If you took and sealed the liquid in here and you made it hotter, mm -hmm. uh, it would it, it would make more pressure. Mm -hmm. Right? And so it's going to, the pressure is going to increase. You can increase the pressure and make it hotter. Yes. Or, or you, you can, can make, make it hotter, hotter and, and that, will, that will increase the pressure. pressure. And the inverse is true too, right? Yeah. You can expand it really quickly, which is what we're doing here, and it makes it cold, mm -hmm. or you can make it cold, and, it'll expand and, and the pressure will release, right? That'll be under less pressure. Mm -hmm. It's pretty cool. It's like when we crushed the cans. Yeah. Remember, like, heated up the can and put it in the cold water, yes. and it crushed? Yeah. Same kind of thing. So there, we were doing the opposite of this. Mm -hmm. So we were making it cold, and the pressure was going away. Yes. Whereas here, we're taking the pressure away, and that makes it cold. Yeah. It's kind of cool. You can do one, and the other happens by itself. Yes. Right? So really cool. Lots of different ways you can do it, so people can definitely do it on their own. Yes. You, you just grab a water bicycle. bottle. You don't even need the bicycle book. That's right. Yeah, you can just twist the, twist the bottle up and make it pop. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Cool. So this was a fun one. Yeah. And of course, Steve Spangler has done this one. Yes, I didn't. We didn't actually see this one the first time with yeah. Steve Spangler, but when I went and looked, like Steve Spangler's done everything. Yeah. If you go to Steve Spangler's website and look at his videos of the experiments he's done, There's prob yeah. you're not going to find something he hasn't done on that website. Yeah, probably. It's, it's and his stuff is really cool. He always brings a good twist And to if it. you do find it, then he will do it within next, within the like, of the course. Next, a little, yeah. within like the next few, like month That's or right. so. It will be on the website. And uh, I'll, you'll see this experiment done a ton online. Mm -hmm. A lot of people have done it on YouTube, but very, very few people explain why it happens. Mm -hmm. They just show you this cool thing that you can make a cloud in a bottle. Mm -hmm. But for some reason, people don't talk about it what's going on. It seems cool to be able, it seems cool if you only, if you lose even, if you use like even less alcohol, you could do it in like a terrarium uh -huh. and have like actual clouds floating at the top of it. That would, <laughs> right. that would be kind of cool. Right. Although since they're alcohol clouds, I don't think that would be very good. Yeah. Okay, cool. So I think we're done. Yeah. So yeah. Thank you for watching, and thanks tomorrow. Bye! Bye, guys.